<laughs> Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the Now Morning Show. Well, this morning, we're giving you things to add to your calendar, as always. One that is no stranger to the Now Morning Show. The NGC Bocas Storytelling Children's Caravan is getting set to kick off this month. And to tell us more about it, we are joined by the Children's Program Manager, Melvina Hazard, and no stranger to the Now Morning Show, the Marketing and Media Manager for the Bocas Lit Fest, <laughs> Alex Williams. Good morning, ladies, and welcome. Good, Good morning. morning. Oh, welcome. Back. Oh, well, <laughs> your vacancies uh, might ahead. as well, but no, you have this is a about very good <laughs> mission <laughs> that we appreciate that you continue to champion <laughs> as the book is at first and the, all of its arms, if you will has beautiful initiatives for different age groups. Yes. This morning, we're looking at the younger tots, if you will. And so jumping straight into the conversation as children's program manager, Ms. Hazard, tell me a little bit about your role in the storytelling caravan and how it fits into the festival itself. Okay, so the Storytelling Caravan is our outreach program and it's the lead up to the actual festival. Um, so it's very important that we generate that excitement. Um, and of course, you know, working with children, it appeals to all age groups because everybody loves children. All right. I hope so, yes. <laughs> and um, so, um, so it fits directly into our objective of promoting and discovering new voices. So through this outreach program, you know, we try to go to the far reaches of Trinidad and Tobago and to try to pluck those little voices out there, you know, by doing the story writing workshops. We take like a whole team where we have a professional storyteller to mm -hmm. really inspire the children, get them to appreciate the idea of reading for pleasure and then getting them all excited about a story and then actually creating a story themselves with us. Now, you mentioned creating these stories and they get the chance to tell our stories mm -hmm. because a lot of them are selected, or the stories that are told, that is, are s selected with particular criteria. Tell me yes. a little bit about the collection that is shared with the students. All right, so what we do for each um, venue, we create a story prompt or a story title. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of, we try to make it relevant or as relevant as possible to the area. So, for example, we are going to Muruga this week, and so it's the Scorpion Pepper Festival. Nice. Then we are going to Arima, and it's First People's Festival. Now, the titles are general mm -hmm. um, in that, I mean, if you have a, a Scorpion Pepper competition, it could be anything. It could be a competition among the Scorpion Peppers. Mm. You know, it could be a competition among people. The peppers, so, I get you. Yeah. So <laughs> it's all up to the children. I mean, we just give the prompt. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, in Tobago, we have the mystery of the oil spill, which again is contemporary and it's current news. But the children could interpret it as, you know, the mystery of the coconut oil spill or the baby oil spill. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's all up to them. So what we do is that we just ask questions, we give them prompts, and we just let their imagination run wild. Sounds exciting. Now, Alex, she has mentioned that you're going to the far reaches of the country. Yes. Can you tell us some of the areas that the caravan is visiting this time around? Cova, <laughs> Princess Town, Arima, we have Tobago, most of, um, so it's a 60-40, Melvina will tell you, some are in national libraries, mm -hmm. like Princess Town Library and so on, and then some are in areas where the schools can come together, so Melvina has the the fullest as she's the program manager right. and she's doing all of the coordination with all of the team members all of the wonderful storytellers <laughs> who will be rolling around and playing musical instruments and getting the students involved and so on and um, at the end of the day we'll be doing 10 locations throughout Trinidad and Tobago ending at the National Library in Port of Spain Alice, which is inside of the Festival Village for the NGC Bocas Lit Fest. So let's jump into the festival itself then because mm -hmm. that takes place from the 25th to the 28th of April. Yeah. Yes. And this is just a facet of it, the book is the first for the yes. youth, that is. So give us some details about this year's festival. Well, well, we have the launch coming up, so we'll give you the full splash right. of our many programs and participants, as you know. But just for general knowledge of Trinidad and Tobago, we usually fly in authors, have authors who are here and throughout the Caribbean to speak about our voices. It's it's international school with a regional focus and this festival will have many different facets we have our our staples like the stand and the liver and the usual um old fire station discussions and so on and of course the first citizens national poetry slam which is the closing event of the festival but the children's festival which this also leads up to actually kicks off the festival this year and melvina can let you know how that segue is going to happen this year 
Marina, go right ahead and tell us. That's like what sounds <laughs> exciting. Okay, so what I've been saying to wanted to do is to really increase our reach and impact for primary school children. And so we decided to take... So in the past, we used to be at City Hall with right. the Children's Festival. Um, so we've decided to return to City Hall. So it's going to be hosted the first two days, the 25th and 26th, mm -hmm. going to be hosted by the mayor and the Port of Spain, Port of Spain City Corporation. Mm -hmm. And we are expecting to have hundreds of mm -hmm. primary school children from all over the country coming for like just ongoing, a running program of readings and performances, not just by adult writers of children's books, mm -hmm. but also children writers. Because again, the idea is developing and promoting new voices. And if we want to get a new generation of Caribbean writers, it starts obviously with children. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that we're going to be doing is from this um, children's storytelling caravan, we actually produce a book. Nice. So this is just a galley stage. And so this book um, consists of the stories created by the children. It's an anthology and it's an annual anthology. And so during the festival, we're going to be having some of the children who actually participated in the workshops right. to create these stories to actually be reading oh, from these stories. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> many um, approaches <laughs> to the literacy situation in the country, globally, mm. regionally, mm. and I love every part of it. But I know that, as you mentioned before, it is part of the big picture. Yes. So in terms of the annual NGC Bookers Lit Fest itself, yes. we have a lot of activities. I know you're going to give us more information, but <laughs> give me a little snippet, a little taste of what this year is going to look like. Well, we don't have a theme for mm. this year. Just yet, or at we all? We don't have a theme for this year. Ooh. This year, it's as open, it's as all-reaching. There are so many interesting topics we're planning to tackle. We have an entire day actually um, dedicated to youth. So we're bringing everything full circle and pulling it into the festival. So you're going to get a touch of children, a touch of youth, and of course the adult. And there is something for everyone. Our workshops will have just a nominal like nuisance fee at most. Mm -hmm. But the entire festival is free. Mm -hmm. It's open to everyone. And we'll have it throughout in, in the National Library, but satellite events in different places around Port of Spain as well. So if you didn't know, just keep locked. <laughs> <laughs> keep locked to our website. Subscribe so you get the notices of all the things, especially when we roll out the program. Right. And follow us on at Bookers Lit Fest everywhere, social media, Facebook, Instagram, X, mm -hmm. you know, to get information. <laughs> definitely active online because you definitely want to re reach oh, the definitely. youth and they are certainly on the socials. Now, granted that you have that participation of young persons, both delivering the stories and creating them. We will see the participation, as you said, across the age groups. Yes. If anybody else wants to become a part of the Bookers Lit Fest, the literary festivals, regardless of age, a parent looking on, a godparent wants to involve the child, how can we make contact? Well, they can um, email us at storytelling at bookerslitfest.com mm -hmm. or call 48 Bookers, and, um, and we'll just be there, you know, or just send us an email to the general. Um, info at bookerslitfest.com or storytelling at bookerslitfest.com. Sounds like good stuff. And in that case, we will be checking in with you all later on as the events unfold. Of course, you'll see us again. We will <laughs> see, see, <laughs> see Alex again, oh, wow. <laughs> among others, as we continue to support literacy throughout the country. And we thank you, ladies, for putting in your time and efforts towards that end. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you both yeah. for joining us. Of course, we were joined by Mavila Hazard, the Children's Program Manager, as well as the Marketing and Media Manager for the Booker Slit Fest. And these two ladies are usual guests who we'll see again <laughs> soon. The NGC Bookers Storytelling Children's Caravan runs from March 7th to April 28th, and we will give you reminders as to what's happening on that calendar of events. But up next, we are chit-chatting, mixing and mingling, and maybe even taking your calls here on The No Morning Show. Stick around.